welcome back in this video i'm going to show you how to make this really cute set of farmhouse looking christmas trees using tumbling tower game blocks from both walmart and dollar tree stay tuned and i will show you how to make them Alrighty, y'all let us get started so first off what you're going to need a package of the dollar tree tumbling tower block games you know it's like the uh, like jenga now this is the Dollar Tree version and this is actually a big version that I got at Walmart. So in the Walmart version, oh, this one is the Jumbling Tower. <laughs> Again, we have the Tumbling Tower and the Jumbling Tower. So in this one, you get 48 wood pieces and as you can see, they are a heck of a lot bigger than the Dollar Tree ones, okay? So here's Dollar Tree here and then here's Walmart over here. Now this was um, $6 and something. I'm gonna say right at $7. Now, why did I get this as opposed to these? Well, I already have a bunch of these, and I, I wanted these to be bigger, okay? So that's why I went for the bigger blocks. I know it's not very cost-effective when compared, you know, with the Dollar Tree ones. But the main reason was just, just the size difference. You know, you can use the same method with the small ones, whichever size that you want to use. So first off, you're going to need your blocks and some wood glue and paint and decorations. But first, we're going to glue everything together, and then we'll worry about decorations and paint later. But I found these decorations at Walmart. You get uh, six for $1.98 of these and six mini bows for $1.98. Yes, you can tie your own bows, but I was just trying to pick up a handful of things, you know, that you can just pick up and stick on something, okay? Because I don't like the little red bows that's on here. Um... I'm thinking I'm going to take those bows off. I'm trying to see how they're... I think they're just glued on. Yeah, they're just glued on. Um, and if I was to use the smaller ones, those ornaments, and the bow would be way too big. So anyway, first off, I'm going to take three blocks. And I have some of this Gorilla Wood Glue here. I would use hot glue, but... Whoop, I broke my glue! Um, these are kind of large, you know, and they're kind of heavy. So, um, I think that they would fall apart if you used hot glue. Hold on a second. I'm just going to scrape a little bit of glue off the top of this bottle here. There we go. Okay. The nozzle is clean because I didn't wipe it off last time I used it. But anyway, um, yeah, three of the blocks and you're going to be putting them side by side like this. Not like that, but like this. And then we're just going to take a little bit of the wood glue. I'm just going to put a little bit on there. Now, this stuff doesn't take a real long time to set up. There we go. Actually, if you give me a second, I'll look on the label because I can't remember exactly how long it says it'll take. I'll put that there. Okie dokie. Now, that's going to be the base for our tree. Okay. Now, let's see. Um, do, 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 do what it says. Um, join and clamp for 20. No, you, you don't need to clamp that. Um, 20 to 30 minutes, allow bond to dry for 24 hours. Um, I just let these sit here for a few hours because I've used this type of glue before. Okay, there's that. So I'm going to move that over. And now I'm going to do another one just like that. Like that. And then we're going to stick these together. I like that these are bigger. All right. And then I want to place these on top of that one over there. All right. Yeah, itty bitty little block just sitting there in the way. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to put a little bit of the wood glue on this. Just spread it out a little bit. All right, so you see how these blocks are like going this way? I want to take this block and turn them so that they're going that way. Why are you trying to come apart? Because I'm not dry. Oh, nope, that ain't going to work. Oh, well. I thought it might work, but they're a little bit too long to be perfectly square. Let's just glue them together like that. I want the base to be big. I didn't want a little bitty tiny base for this tree that we're about to make. All right, so three blocks across and two blocks up. Just make sure everything is even. All right, let's move that over. I keep an eye on it. All right, and now I'm going to start to make the base of my tree. At this exact moment, I don't know exactly how many of these I want to put together for my tree, but we're going to figure it out together, aren't we? Now, I want to make some big ones and some small ones. So let's get the glue. 
And I'm just going to start gluing these together. I want an odd number across the bottom. Why do I want an odd number? Because I'm going to be using one of these for the base, like for the, uh, the trunk. There we go, for the trunk. And I want the trunk to be right in the middle. So I want the number across the bottom to be even. I think I want to start out with five. Just stick that there. We'll start out with five and we'll see how it looks. Oh, look, I'm dripping. I'm dripping. I'm making a mess is what I'm doing. <laughs> so I have rolls of paper towels and napkins and wet wipes and all kinds of stuff in here. Well, while I'm gluing this, y'all probably know I've been saying this in a lot of videos. I'm in the greatest baker challenge, greatest baker challenge. And as of the time that I'm filming this video, um, I have made it through to the top five bakers in my group. Now, when this round of voting is over, it'll be, you know, the, the winner of each group will be announced. And then all those winners have to face off against each other, like in the little semifinal things. Um, so if you would, please vote for me. You know, I work hard with my baking. You know, I bake and I give it away. I give it to elderly neighbors. I have a handful of those. And I've baked for soup kitchens and shelters. You know, I put a lot into my baking, all right? But if you look in the description box, and I'll pin a comment with the voting link. You can click on that link. You can scroll down below my photo, and there'll be a little box that says to vote. You can click on that. And then if you want to, you can scroll down even further, and you can see some pictures of all of my goodies that I have made. Well, not all my goodies, but a lot of goodies. So anyway... I don't have a big fancy kitchen. You know, I'm not a professional baker. I'm just little old me. But I say if you bake with your heart in it, that's all you need to do. Just put your heart into whatever you do. It don't matter if you have a big old fancy kitchen. All right, so there is five. And you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to do seven across. I want this to be kind of big. I want it to be kind of big. So like I said, let's do an odd number. I'm going to put seven across. There we go. Oops, I put the glue on the wrong side. Dad gum it. I'm sitting here thinking about bacon now. I made some awesome um, apple cinnamon muffins earlier. Somebody given me a whole bunch of apples, and I'm like, I don't know what to do with all these darn things. So I made some muffins, and I ate some. The littles ate some, and I gave some to the person <laughs> that gave me the apples. Okay, so mm, there is seven. I'm happy with that. So now we're going to put on another row of blocks, but we're going to come in one. So that's going to be five across. Five across. Like that. And then up here is going to be three across. Okay. Like so. Three across. And then I'm going to put one. Like that. So let me just leave that there for a second so that you can see what I'm doing. So I have seven, five, three, and then one. Okay. So I'm going to glue all of these together. I'm going to glue this row together, this row together, and then glue them together that way. So let me work on that. And then we'll come back and paint it. All right. So I have everything glued together. Now here are the bases. This is what they look like. And here's the other base. And then I did do one with the Dollar Tree blocks. Because, you know, I like things in odd numbers. And so I wanted to have three of these trees. So I did this big one here. See, with the seven, and then five, and then three. And then I did another one. There's five, three, and one. That was with the Walmart blocks. And then I did a smaller one with the Dollar Tree blocks. And for that base, I just did a little small one like this. I just glued three of the blocks together. And then the tree with the uh, with the Dollar Tree blocks five three one, and then here's our trunk. And I think um, I think those size differences are going to look really good together. Um, now at the bottom of the tree, as you can see here on this middle block, I just glued one with that wood glue um, to make the trunk. And then once they're all painted, I'm going to glue it down here. Probably say, well, that tree is a little bit too big for that base. It's really not. This glue is a very good glue, and these are actually very lightweight. They're not all that heavy. Um, but I do have a lot of requests, people asking me, can you make something in like non-traditional colors, like the non-traditional Christmas colors? And I like gray. I like gray um, and, and burgundies and, you know, things like that. So I think what I'm going to do with these, I'm going to paint them in these. Gosh, I got this fake snow stuck everywhere. 
I want to paint them in the non-traditional colors. And I have some pewter gray, some white, and some black. And I think I'm going to do... Um, I'll do one white, gray, and black. I think that's what I'm going to do. And then for the, um, for, why am I having such a hard time? I'm trying to remember this. The trunk. And then for the trunk, I'm going to paint that, um, maybe this light mocha color. I don't know. And then I also have some twine. I might wrap a little bit of twine, you know, just to give it a little extra something. Um, okay. So what we're going to do, let me see. What do I want to paint these? And I even, I want to paint these black. I think I'm going to paint the base black and then gray and then white. But anyway, <laughs> this is the not so exciting part. It's just me painting stuff. And this is why I like using like the, um, the contact paper on my table here because it doesn't matter if I get messy. It doesn't really matter because when I'm done crafting, if it's got too much paint on it, I'll just peel it off and throw it away. Um, ah, I'm dropping things. I can just peel it up and throw it away. Or, you know, this is very slippery. You can use a um, you can use a wet wipe or something like that, a damp paper towel, and just wipe it away. But anyway, I'm just going to start painting. Painting, painting, painting. Y'all know I really don't like acrylic paint all that much. And I like spray paint better. But, you know, I've got so much acrylic paint... I'm just going to try to use it up on some of this. So, yeah, painting this white, and I'm going to paint another one black. Kind of excited to see how the black one's going to come out. But once I get all of this painted, um, I'm going to go back and dry brush it a little bit with another color of paint to give it, you know, some dimension and to break up this solid color a little bit. But anyway, I'm going to work on this. I'm going to work on this, and then we'll come back and we will dry brush them. Alrighty then, let's take a look at what I have so far. So this is the white tree and I painted the trunk on it, that grayish color. My gray tree has a black trunk and my black tree has a white trunk. I was trying to mix the colors up a little bit. So for the, oh my gosh, I've got glitter everywhere, y'all. I'm in the middle of <laughs> shooting another video while I'm doing this one. I've got glitter everywhere. Now, for the big trees, I painted both of the bases black uh, because I have, you know, like that white, like the snowy drape on the um, shelf where I'm going to be setting these. And I thought, you know, if I paint the base white, it's going to blend in too much with that. And I wanted there to be a contrast. So both of the big bases I have painted black and then the small base for the little one I painted gray. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start dry brushing these trees with a contrasting color. So I'm not 100% what color I want to use on what which one. On this gray one, I know I want to use, let's see, I'm not even sure. On the gray one, let's use white. Yep, on the gray one, let's use white. Now this method here, you're just going to do the same method on the other trees, but you're going to be using whatever colors you want to use. So I'm going to be using this white acrylic paint. And let me find something to squirt the paint on. I usually have paper plates in here just for this, but I'm just going to use a piece of paper. I'm going to fold it in half. All right, so I'm going to take the paint and squirt a little bit on there. Now we're going to be using a very, very dry brush. I like these brushes, these cheap plastic brushes. This came from Walmart because the bristles are very, very stiff. When you're doing dry brushing like this, it's better to use a stiffer brush. If you use a softer one, a lot of times it just smears the paint and, you know, you don't get to see the brush strokes as well. So I'm just going to take my brush and dip it in the paint and then tap it on the paper because you, you just want a little bit of paint on your brush. And then you're just going to very, very lightly make strokes on the tree. So very lightly, like so. And I'm just going to dip it back in the paint that I have put on the paper here. Just very lightly. Okay, like that. Let me pick it up so that you can see. All right, so now I'm just going to tap, tap, tap. You <laughs> can't have a lot of that paint off. Just very, very lightly doing it. Let's switch hands here and go back up this way. Bottom here. 
Okay. All right. Moving up. Then go up this way. And like on the edges here, I'm kind of trying to like catch the brush on those edges. It kind of looks like snow or something is sitting on it a little bit. There we go. Okay, so that's looking okay. Go back the other way. All right, so that gives it a little bit of dimension and depth instead of just being, you know, like a flat color. So here's what that looks like. So I'm gonna use that same technique on the other two trees. I might do it a little bit on the base. I'm not real sure about that yet. Anyway, let me work on those and I'll come back. Okay, with my messy painted table. Oh my goodness, y'all. I gotta get some more of this contact paper and switch it out for my next video. I really do. But anyway, let's take a look at what I did. So with the black tree, I put on some gray and I did put a little bit down here on the trunk. I figured, eh, why not? So here's the white tree with the black. And then here's the gray tree with the white. And now let's take a look at the bases here. The bases, I just put some white on the black ones and then some gray on that one. But you know, you use whatever colors you wanna use, you know? You don't have to use these exact colors. But anyway, I found this gift trim at Walmart. It was $2.48, you get 36 yards. There's red, and this is a kind of a brownish. I wasn't paying attention in the store. I'm like, oh, gray, but no, it was brown. But uh, this is black and white. And I think what I wanna do here is I wanna use some of this black and white twine right here just to kind of break it up a little bit because it's very flat, you know? It's like the tree just goes straight into the trunk and it's very flat. So what I wanna do is get it out of the packaging first, is I wanna use some of this right here on the bottom. Why is this doing this to me? Look at this, I can't find the end. Oh my goodness. Amber, it's right there. It's okay, I'll wind it back up. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do here is let's flip this over. No, I have not painted the backs because I don't want to. And actually there's some things that I wanna write on the back. Um, a lot of things happened for our family in the past year. And I wanna do some writing. But anyway, I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot glue there. And I'm going to put this down right here. I wish that would be a good idea. You know, families wanted to do that. You know, the families can make a tree for each other and then write little messages. Just have everybody, of course, you know, you wouldn't have paint splotches on mine. I wouldn't have to sand that off. But, you know, um, you could have family members, like, sign their name, a name per block, and give that as a gift. That would be cute. Or just have the grandkids or kids, you know, write messages on the back. All right, so let's see if this glue. All right. I'm just going to take this. I'm just going to wrap it around a few times and then glue it down again on the back. I don't want to cover the whole trunk. I just want a little, a little extra something, something. Y'all know how I am. <laughs> All right, so let's wrap this around. What do you think? A little bit more? Tell me. I can't hear anyway. <laughs> All right, so let's put down some more glue. Uh-oh. Y'all need to scoot up a little bit. Here we are. I'm just gonna put down another little bit of glue. And let's glue that down. Now I'm gonna do this same thing on the other two trees with this twine. Um, what do you wanna call it? Gift trim. I wanna call it twine. All right. Oh, it's not technically twine, I don't guess. Oh well. I'll call it when I wanna call it. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Now let's take a look at these bows. Like I said, these bows came from Walmart and they do have like a metal twist tie around them just holding the shape. Um, let's see, which side would I want for the front? And I'm just gonna trim this off on the back. I was gonna use some scissors. I don't know wire cutters here. All right, so there's that. I just snipped that off the back and now let's get one of these ornaments. These are just so cute. I really like the snowflakes. All right, so give me this. And like I said, I don't like, I don't like those bows the red bow I don't like it so that's why you know I had gotten a different color to go on top 
And you're not going to see the top of these, okay? Because the bow is going to be covering it. You're not going to see it, but you can snip those off if you want to. I just like the way that the whole little ornament looked. So I want the bow, I don't want to cover up the very tip top. So I want the bow to be about right there. And then I want to put this ornament right about there. So I want to go ahead and put some hot glue on that. You could paint these little ornaments if you wanted to. Let's go right about there. How's that? What y'all think? All right, now I'm just going to take this little bow and glue it down. And everything I'm doing here, of course, I'm going to repeat on the other trees. Oh, that little piece of wire is in my way. That gum it. All right, that'll work. Now let's just let that glue sit there. We're going to let that set up. Okay, let that set up and then I can fluff up the bow and make it look a bit better. And then all that we're going to do is I'm going to get the glue off of me. I'm just going to glue this down to the base. Now the base here, this is where the ends of the blocks are. You can see all six ends of the blocks. I want to turn it that way so that this is facing front because the paint laid a little bit better on those sides. I think that'll be the one that I have facing the front. And then I'm just going to stand this up and glue it here. Now as far as the glue for that, I'm going to try to do a little bit of hot glue and then a little bit of the Gorilla Glue. So when I glue these down, I'm not going to be able to move them, okay? I'm, I need them to sit here and, you know, adhere and let the glue harden up so that it'll be nice and bonded. You have a nice sturdy adhesion, I guess you could say. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to decorate these other trees just like this one. And then I'm going to get them glued down to their bases. I'm going to let it set for about 24 hours and then it'll be done. Anyway, please don't forget to vote for me in the Greatest Baker Challenge. Links are in the description box and in the comments. And stick around after the video. I'll have a photo where you can see them all standing up together. So if you would, please give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye.